I spent most of my life being afraid. Afraid of the dark, afraid of heights, afraid to stand out, and afraid of failure. I would do almost everything I could to stay in my comfort zone. When I was afraid, I would try to find Jamie. Do it. You are a bad influence. I'm the best influence. All right. It's but I'm going to Japan. Jamie? Jamie? Even now, my heart still searches for the spot he filled. The space where I felt safe. Jamie? 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 Jamie! Jen, help! Jamie, what help the heck? Jamie, no! Jamie, I'm dying! What? Jamie, I'm scared! Jamie? <gasps> Jamie! Calm down, calm down. It's just me, it's just me! Okay, yes, Jamie was different. He was always different. He would be the first to do something brave, risky, spontaneous, hopeful in the unknown. He could always convince me to take the first step. True. It's your apartment. Just stay behind. I got you. Mm -hmm. I guess I would find myself getting caught up in the what ifs. What if this? What if that? Until I spiral into an anxiety attack of what ifs galore. I never once thought, what if this works out? What if I succeed? For a long time, I feared the truth of my own heartache and avoided everyone that reminded me of him. Jen, did you hear me? I said Josh and I are getting married. Oh my gosh, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. I was hoping you could be my maid of honor. But you don't have to be. <laughs> I completely understand if you can't right now. No, I'm... I'm going to Japan. Really? All by yourself? I mean, yeah. It was Jamie's idea. I know ja it sounds Jamie weird, but he said... said that. <sighs> Not directly, Amber. <sighs> I've been having these dreams. And in these dreams, Jamie talks to me. I know it sounds crazy, but Vanessa actually Honey, thinks that... that wasn't Jamie. It's not healthy for you to think he's talking to you. I'm not saying that, I'm just... In these dreams, it feels so real. He feels so if real. If you want to go on this trip, do it for yourself. Don't do it because Jamie from your dreams told you to. I am doing this for myself, Amber. Don't look at me like I'm some sort of pity case. Jamie was my friend too. When we lost him, it felt like we lost you as well. I'm just trying to move on with my life and these dreams, these signs, they help. These aren't signs, Jen. Everything will trigger a memory if you let it. You're searching for them. You're trying to find Jamie in everything you see. But until you stop trying to find him in people, in places, and in songs, you're never going to move on. I just thought, maybe, I don't know. I understand. But Jamie wouldn't want you to be living on false hope. Hey, Jen, I need you back there. Yeah. 
I'll see you soon, Emma. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for visiting. I fear that I will always keep trying to find Jamie everywhere and find nothing but disappointment and heartache. I fear that I will cower away forever. I can't keep living like this. Not anymore. I can't stop myself from feeling afraid. But I shouldn't let it control me. So why did you freak out? He was just complimenting you. Uh, let's just drop it. I don't want to think about how I embarrassed myself. I can tell you've had a bad day. Maybe. Well, walk me through it. What happened? I was with Amber. And... And? Jamie, stop messing around. What am I doing here? You tell me, Jen. You keep coming back to this moment. The night of the... Don't say it. Oh. We don't have much time left. But I'm here to help. How? People think I'm going crazy, Jamie. You can't help me, this is just a dream! And if it isn't? Then this must be some sort of sick joke from the universe! Do you know what it's like to lose you every morning when I wake up? But you won't lose me, Jen. I'm always here, in your memory. Then I want to forget it all! I just want it to stop! I pushed this away for the longest time! You shouldn't be doing that, Jen. Just leave, Jamie! Leave like you always do! I've hidden a spot so comfortable that I shut everything out. I thought maybe this was the way to keep myself protected. So Jen, last day of work. Mm. You know we're gonna miss you, right? But Japan, you must be excited. Uh, more anxious than I am excited. Danishes for table three. Table three? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Hey, um, could I get a regular soy latte, please? Mm -hmm. And a LaCroix? LaCroix. Any sugar with that? Uh, no sugar. No worries. And just a name for the order. It's Jamie. J -A yep, Jamie. Yep. Awesome. Uh, that's seven dollars eighty. Nathan. But that comfortable spot gets lonely. The isolation is numbing. I know that if I open up my heart and just take a peek through a small gap of new moments waiting for me, I could find the strength to keep going. I just need a small push, a sign, a something to help me take a leap of faith. Got an order for Jamie? Okay, sure. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. Oh my Gosh. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, let me guess, your name is Jamie too? Uh, it might be, but everyone likes calling me Daniel. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, of course it is. Uh, let me get you another one of those. Manager Joyko, can I get a small cap for Mr. Uh, no, no, it's okay, I'm about to go anyway, it's, it's fine, it's fine. I'm sorry, I wasn't watching where I was walking. Um, how'd you know small Business cap? Businessman, small cap, made sense. <laughs> you know, I thought you could read minds. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> what sort of coffee do you like, Jennifer? Uh, the kind that doesn't spill on me. Hey, Nina. <coughs> we gotta go. It's time. Well, I gotta go. You have a good day, Jennifer. You too, Dan the businessman. I mean, it can only be uphill from here, right? <laughs> yes, yes, Jennifer the barista. I was always told that if your dreams don't scare you, you aren't dreaming big enough. No one ever tells you how to be brave or how to take the first step. You're just supposed to do it. Dear Universe, 
Maybe after years of relying on Jamie, it's finally time for me to take a leap of faith. Alone. I was born afraid. But I'm not going to use it as an excuse to miss out on something as beautiful as this. I guess he was right.